Most eclipse watchers look to the skies to experience day turning to night. Your hair changing, Yep, Sean? yep. But Yuki Hatch won't put on eclipse glasses April 8th. It's still high pitched. High pitched? Instead, the Austin student will be wearing headphones. With the light sound device, I'll be able to hear it, which just wow. Yuki is a senior at the Texas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Without help, the eclipse would appear to her like a tiny dot in the sky. I'm counting on the sound to know what's going on during the eclipse. Because without the sound, I'm basically lost. This is the light sound box that students will use on Monday to experience the solar eclipse. Here in the shade or when it's darker, the tones will be low, like this. But if I move to a brighter site, like right here in the full sun, the sound is a higher pitch and it almost sounds like a flute. Yep, it's changing. The technology is another step toward making the eclipse accessible to everyone. A professor from Harvard University wanted to create a device that would allow our students and other blind and visually impaired individuals to be able to hear the eclipse happening. Design plans for the boxes were sent to UT Austin and other universities across the country. The end result is an audible eclipse that starts with high, delicate flute notes for bright light, mid-range notes as the moon begins to cover the sun, and a low clicking sound during darkness or totality. Without the opportunity, it's kind of just like you're missing out on a beautiful thing that happens very rarely, and that's just sad. Yuki says this box proves that an eclipse is more than just a visual event. Everyone should be able to experience the eclipse. Everyone. Betty Cross, CBS Austin News.